everyone, today's video is going to be a product review. It has been storming all day here and it's finally stopped so it's a little later than I wanted but I think the lighting is going to be alright and hopefully it doesn't just start like, you know, the bottom fall out again because you know how that happens. But hopefully not um, because today I want to do a review and I love doing product reviews because I get to spend as much time as I want, which let's be honest, I'm a little bit of a long-winded gal. Sometimes that can be kind of long. Um, and I can spend as much time as I want talking about a certain item, really giving you all the ins and outs and my thoughts about them. And today I'm going to do this Polish Choice Blush It On Contour um, Palette. This is a $36 palette. And Polish Choice is like a very natural skincare brand. Um, they're known for great skincare. I personally have tried some of it and I've never really gotten along with it. But it's a lot of people's like favorites. And they've recently been coming out with makeup. Um, and oh, oh, oh. Sorry about that. Um, I got this blush palette from one of my subscribers actually. So you can see it comes with four blushes and they are all four matte. And then this really pretty like pinkish white highlighter. And then this bronzer. And now I don't have any cheek shades on. You may be able to tell that. So I wanted to go ahead and put them on for y'all and then review it. So first and foremost, we're going to start with the contour. It looks to me really orange in the pan. But I feel like it's a lot prettier in swatch. Like uh, on the face and in a swatch than it is in on the pan. Sorry about that. John is uh, on the way here. And it's been uh, raining real bad. So, this is the Me 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 brush. And I just like to put a little bit on there. Don't you think that looks so good? Gosh, I love contour. I really do. I mean, I think I have decent cheekbones. Naturally, like, I don't have anything on the side. Like, I think I've got a little bit of a cheek, but like, come on. I'm so sculpted. So sculpted. So, I just like to do this. Again, this I don't know what this is called. It's like me, me, me. Y'all, I just did my nails. It was a little janky. Sorry about that. I'm not the best at nails. I try so hard, but I'm really not the best. And then I take this uh, Eco Tools like big powder brush. It's a flat one. I don't know if I would recommend this brush, but it's what I got. And I do my chin because I got a little bit of a double chin. It's okay. I'm not ashamed. Of, well. I say I'm not ashamed of it as I'm trying to cover it up with contour. And then I just kind of go down the neck. Just a little bit. Just like this. And you can see, I mean, I think it looks gorgeous on the skin. And it is extremely pigmented. There we go. Sorry if that's like little lights that come. Let me just scooch over. We're going to scooch over a little bit. So that is the contour shade. And it is called Bronze. I really like it. And let's just do a little bit on my nose. I never really know what the... Let's try this. I've never tried this one on my nose. This is like a, what is this, precision tapered. Let's try this one to use my nose. I never know the right one to do on my nose. Contour, I say nose one more time. Oh, that's not kind of nice, actually. I usually use this brush to kind of wipe away fallout. But it kind of works for it. I like to go just down the sides. Not overly precise or anything. So there we go. And then you can take this big brush again and go up in your forehead if you want. If you're feeling it. So this is kind of like a tutorial. I'm not really. Y'all know I'm not a makeup artist. This hair is kind of flat. Let's get some body in that. There we go. So that's the contour shade. Beautiful. Love it. Um, and then I put on highlight next. And I use this BH Cosmetics. I don't even. You can't even see the number anymore. But it's just like highlighting brush. Um, now I've heard. Was it Emily Noel? I heard someone talk about putting your highlight on before your blush because then it looks a lot more natural. And that makes a lot of sense to me. This highlight is called Pearl. Like I said, it's a pinky white highlight. It's not overly shimmery. It's more of a natural highlight, which honestly is kind of my favorite. And I just put a smidgen on the tip of my nose, just a smidgen. And then we're going to go with all that glare. You'll see the difference not really honestly like I don't know I'm in the Sun you can see the difference in person I can tell you that much but it's really a very very natural highlight so if you are looking for something like in person 
if you are looking for something to be like, bam, you're not going to be happy with this highlight. It's very natural. You can see it right there, but I like it. I think it gives like a, a little bit of a glow. And then we've got four blushes. So we have the shade Dusty Rose and Delicate Coral. And again, all of the blushes are matte. So Dusty Rose is on top and Delicate Coral. They're really nicely pigmented. Um, I feel like the, the swatch is not really doing it justice. And then we have the shade Peony and then lastly Soft Mauve. You can see I am panning Soft Mauve, so it's got a lot of more use. Peony and Soft Mauve. They look a little dusty in the swatches. And you can see that Peony and what is that? And Dusty Rose really are kind of similar. Now, this coral is very coral. And this mauve is very mauve. And I feel like in swatches, they look like they're nicely pigmented. They're okay. Now let me pull out my brush. It is, it's not clean. This is the Luxie Beauty 504. I'm going to kind of clean it off from my little, uh, what do you call it? Washcloth? Yeah. Washcloth. All right, I'm thinking we're going to go into this shade. We're going to do Dusty Rose, because I was thinking about doing Coral, but it's kind of monochrome. Let's do Coral. We're going to be a little monochromatic. I'm kind of orangey today. So I just kind of coat the whole brush, and you can see it goes on so nicely. Now, this uh, palette does have a nice mirror. It goes on really nicely. It's very nicely pigmented, but not so much that it, I mean, I don't know. I feel like it always shows up so much more. On the camera than it does in person but it just blends like isn't that just like a gorgeous like light dusting of color I don't know I really like it sorry I'm covering up my face there we go isn't that pretty I feel so pretty so that's it in use and again I use that shade dusty coral it's just a really pretty palette it's $36 for six shades I don't feel like that's that bad as far as packaging and compactness, it's really small. You know, it fits into the palm of my hand. If we're going to compare it, I'm going to compare it to a Lorac palette. I mean, I don't know really why. Let's compare it to this Lorac Pro eyeshadow palette. You can see it's, it's pretty small. It is a little bit thick. This is the palette we're looking at. I feel like it's slightly thick, but not terrible. These products are each three grams a piece. So you get a decent amount of product in here. You're going to get uh, 3 times 6 is 18 grams in this whole palette. And you have a nice mirror. And I think you have a really nice range of shades. I think even though this pearl shade, it looks very white. I think that you could pull it off no matter your skin tone. I feel like even if you have a deeper skin tone, this isn't going to look ashy because it is so natural. It's a light shimmer, but it doesn't have any glitter. I think these blushes are very buildable and you could pull them off again no matter your skin tone. Now this bronzer shade, it's kind of light. I do feel like it's more suited to the medium, definitely light. I'm not even sure if I'd go medium skin tone to be honest. But you could use it in your eyeshadow, as a crease, things like that. So it's not like totally unusable, but if you're hoping that you can get an all-in-one palette right here, you're not going to get that if you have a medium or deep skin tone. But I really like it. I think it's a gorgeous palette. I get a lot of use out of it. I've been using the Soft Mauve shade every day for a couple of months now at least. And I haven't really even made a dip. So you're going to get a ton of use out of it. I just don't know. Like I really, I just think it's a nice palette. I think that $36 is a great price for like a, I don't know. I, I guess you would consider a Polish Choice high end. Um, I mean, their, their skincare can be really expensive, so I'm going to consider it high-end. And it is more natural. It does have mica and talc in it, though. So, I know that that's like a cheaper filler and people don't like that. Um, it is made in Taiwan, and it is not, it is cruelty-free. So, I mean, all of those things are good. Well, I don't know. People, a lot of people don't like it. I mean, it's made in Taiwan, however you choose to feel about that. But if you're looking at this palette and you're thinking, I don't know, would I get some use out of it? I really think you would. I've gotten a lot of use out of mine. I think it's pretty. I think these swatches don't necessarily do it justice. But you saw me apply it to my face, and I think it's really nice there. So, yeah, I hope 
I don't know. I feel like this was a little scatterbrained, but I hope that made sense and you enjoyed it. Um, and you got some good knowledge on this. Now, almost every single time I finish a video, I'm like, crappers. I should have said this, this, and this. So if you have any questions, if you're like, okay, girl, but what about this? This is kind of obvious and you should tell me this. Please go ahead and leave it down below. Or if there's something else you want to see me review, let me know. I love doing product reviews. They're some of my favorite videos to film. So if you want to see that or anything on this channel, please let me know. I want to make videos you want to see. So, Paula's Choice Blush It On Contour Palette. I recommend it. I think you'd be happy with it. That's the gist, the synopsis, the cliff notes of it. Um, and yeah, so thank you so much. And I'll see you all real soon. Bye.